Welcome back to another episode in our Player Life Story series. In this episode we look at the path of Paul Pogba. The Manchester United and French international had a difficult and interesting path to becoming the world class midfield that he is today, which I will explain in this video. We all know, whatever Paul Pogba does, it leads to breaking news. Whether it's due to his breathtaking natural ability on the pitch, or if he has a new hairstyle, or even due to him removing a beer from his press conference as he is a devout Muslim. As such, it made sense to look into his upbringing and narrate his story so far. As always, if you do enjoy this video, please do give it a like, subscribe, turn on notification bells to help the channel out. Now let's get straight into it. Paul Labille Pogba was born in 1993 in France to Ghanaian parents, Yao Mariba and Fasum Antoine, and he has two older brothers, Florentine and Matthias, who are twins. Paul's mother was a former Ghanaian international whereas his dad played at amateur level. In search of a better life and future, they settled in France and when Pogba was born, it helped secure French citizenship for the family. You see, prior to Pogba's birth, Guinea witnessed military oppression, human rights violations and economic difficulties which is why they decided to move to France. The Pogba brothers grew up in the Renardier estate and thanks to their discipline and strict mother were kept away from any drug or gang related trouble. Paul recalls this as, I grew up in the hood with my friends playing football. I really loved football from a young age and my only thought, my only objective in life was to be a professional footballer. Pogba's mother and father had separated when Paul was just two years old, meaning his mother had the burden of raising three kids alone. Which probably explains the unbreakable bond Pogba has with his mother. Of this ordeal, Paul's mum Yao said, It wasn't easy, but when you have boys and you have to raise them by yourself, you have to be very strict with them. You must be strict and gentle at the same time. Despite the separation, Pogba's father Faso Antoine still played an active part in Pogba's life, which is why Paul had a good relationship with his father also. From a young age, Pogba was encouraged to explore and follow his interests, which led to him playing football. Most parents would try and play down their children's ambitions of becoming a footballer and push them towards a more realistic dream, but not the Pogba's. They knew their children were going to be footballers. Since the age of 4 years old, Pogba started playing with kids older than him. His father said, when I saw Paul playing football for the first time, I could see that his technique beat that of his peers. Paul was only 4 years old and he always played with big boys who were older than him. Fassi Antoine admits that this was a tactic he employed to best prepare Paul to becoming a footballer. He elaborates by saying, It got to the point where I began coaching bigger kids so that they could challenge Paul when he was 4, 5, 6 years old. I was trying to bring him up to a level bigger than his age. From the age of 6 until 13, he played for a local football academy called Rossi Embry before getting his first big break. A family friend had contact with another local team called Torsi where he was made captain of their under 13s. Due to his impressive performances, Paul was only there for one season before being spotted by professional French side Le Havre. As Paul signed and stayed in France, his older brothers were also making waves, signing with professional Spanish club Celta Vigo, so the future of the Pogba's was looking very promising indeed. When their mother would visit, she would keep them motivated by saying, you left your country to reach a goal, so do your best to reach that goal. After only a second season, Paul was selected captain of the under-16 team. His eye-catching performances also meant he was getting called up to represent France at under-16 level, whereby he would be made captain there as well. His leadership qualities was obvious to see from a young age. As his reputation increased, it wasn't long before Europe's biggest clubs came sniffing around. Clubs like Manchester United, Arsenal and Juventus. Man United would eventually win this battle and sign the French Youth International to be a part of their youth team. However, this would cause a lengthy legal battle whereby the Le Havre president would accuse Pogba's parents of only being interested in money and that they had been given a house by Man United in return for signing with them. So Alex Ferguson, the then Man United manager, lashed out and threatened to sue the club for slander. The courts and judges eventually ruled in Man United's favour and cleared them of any wrongdoing. Paul would immediately impress for the under 18s and then the reserves, becoming a starter and a popular figure in the dressing room. However, he would find his opportunities in the first team limited. Despite being urged to be patient and wait, Pogba felt he was more than ready to play more than the occasional substitute appearance. He would only make a handful of appearances in what proved to be a frustrating experience. The final straw and heartbreak came in a match where the squad was ravaged with injuries and despite this, Pogba still didn't get to play. With Sir Alex Ferguson choosing to play left winger Park Ji Sung and right back Raphael in central midfield instead. Ouch. Even when there's no other central midfields ahead of you, 
the manager chooses to play players out of position instead of playing new. Pogba recalls this moment as there was no midfield here, people were injured. Skulls wasn't there, I think he'd retired already and it was before he came back. Raphael played in midfield with Jisung Park and I didn't come on in this game. We lost the game. Once his famous agent Mino Raiola came onto the scene, any chance of Pogba signing an extension was no longer possible. Eager to get his client out of the club, Raiola would demand a massive salary increase which he knew would never be met just so his client can leave on a free transfer. Man United, as expected, refused and Paul took the decision to leave. Paul's mum Yao confesses she and Paul's brothers also had a big part in Paul leaving Man United on a free transfer to join Juventus. We got together with Paul's brothers and decided that he would not sign a deal. Ferguson punished him by never playing Paul. He was alone. He even cried in Ferguson's office for the way he was treated. He would then join Juventus where he would be an instant success. In his four years at Juventus he would help the Serie A Giants to win the league four times with two Italian Cup triumphs as well as two Italian Super Cup triumphs. Not a bad return in just four years. He would also be a part of the French Under-20 side who would win the Under-20 World Cup. In 2013 he would also be awarded the Golden Boy Award, the trophy given to the best young player in the world. This award as well as his accomplishments at Juventus ultimately justified his decision to leave Man United. He had gone from a boy who couldn't get into the side with Raphael and Park Ji Sung being chosen ahead of him to one of the world's best midfielders. In fact, in 2015, he came 15th overall in the Ballon d'Or voting, as well as being chosen alongside Luka Modric and Andreas Iniesta in the starting 11. Life can be funny sometimes, and as Pogba became world renowned, Mainata got back in touch like an old ex who regretted their decision. Pogba would eventually move back to Old Trafford but would cost a fee of £89 million a world record fee at the time, making him the most expensive player ever. He would have mixed success at Man United as the club had been going through difficult times and is still trying to rebuild to get back to the glory days of when Sir Alex Ferguson was in charge. Pogba has yet to win a Premier League title with Man United, but has won a European League as well as a League Cup. However, his finest achievement so far in his career is no doubt winning the World Cup in 2018 for France against Croatia. France would win 4-2 with Pogba playing a brilliant game, even managing to score. As his father died before he could see his son lift the World Cup trophy, Paul Pogba paid tribute by having his father with him throughout the match, on his shin pad. Who knows what the future holds for Paul Pogba, but it's fair to say his journey and career so far has been very interesting and there will no doubt be even more twists and turns as he has only one year left on his contract with Man United. Will history repeat itself with Pogba leaving on a free transfer or will Man United have learned from their mistake? time will tell. So yeah, that was the path for Paul Pogba to make his football dreams come true. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, do check out the other videos in our Player Life Stories series where we look at the journeys of other footballers such as Mane, Lukaku, Bailly and Eduard Mendy. As always, please do give the video a like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a future video. Take care and hope to see you again on Football Scope soon.